I know you love real estate. That's why in this video, I'm going to share with you my top favorite super fun real estate based web series. I truly enjoy binge watching. I try to improvise on my game catching up with these series related to my industry. So I thought it would be fun sharing with you all um, which could turn out to inspire you on your next home purchase or bring more value if it is to sell. So let's begin. Selling Sunset showcases a drama at the Open Hand Group where elite real estate agents sell the costly life of their prosperous buyers. It has captivated viewers with its depiction of glamorous multi-million dollar listings and the drama filled personal and expert lives of the sellers at the Open Hand Group. Selling Sunset doesn't just focus on the wealthy and glamorous lives of real estate agents and their clients. It also showcases beautiful and expensive houses and gives you an idea of the sometimes cutthroat business of selling hosts. The drama shows that the women conduct themselves as professional businesswomen, empower women to believe in themselves and follow their dreams. It also helps investors to discover what they are good at and end up being a mediocre in different areas. Another show is Million Dollar Beach House. It's a reality web television collection that aired on Netflix recently. The show follows a collection of younger and formidable agents, a part of Nest Seekers International, promoting and selling holiday homes at Hamptons. However, this series concentrates mainly on expensive homes uh, for holiday vacation. This show documents the lives of agents as they try to carve out a share of the market for themselves. Additionally, the show gives you an in-depth overview of the client real estate agent relationship and highlights the difficulties of balancing the interest of the clients and the agent. Next up is Property Brothers, a television show which chooses different cities for filming based on a variety of factors including client interest, uh, to a major airport and diversity of architecture. The Property Brothers uses their computer and technical expertise to help potential home buyers renovate houses to their liking within a budget. They help customers to achieve their home design. With Brothers at your side, you will demonstrate, renovate, customize and design homes with the equal charm and style the twins are known for. The show suggests approaches of making an investment in real estate as well as virtual real estate which are becoming more common these days. Another show is Flip or Flop, a television series based on real estate market crash. The show hires formerly married couple. After finding success as real estate agents and then experiencing the drastic downside of the housing market, they now purchase uh, distressed properties, redecorate them and promote them at a profit. At least it's the way it is supposed to work. The show tells investors how to buy homes, typically bank owned, short sales and damaged properties to renovate and resell. Tiny House Nation exposes of innovative small spaces and assists new buyers in households designs and assemble their personal mini dream home in a space no larger than 500 square foot. The destiny of living challenges real estate operators to offer cheap customized accommodations which might be area optimized on an identical time. This has led micro residing to be one of the pinnacle trends in the industry already since some years. Tiny houses are very suitable for small family when you consider that each piece of these homes has to fit perfectly for the family. Finding smart ideas to optimize the available area you have challenging uh, but Tiny House Nation can provide a huge quantity of guidelines and hints that may be discovered to deal with these issues. Up next is Fixer Upper. Flipping houses has become a massive and profitable enterprise last few years and Fixer Upper is one of these HGTV indicates that contributed to the popularity growth of the genre. That being said, this show follows a Texas-based couple, Jonah and Chip Gaines, as they remodel crappy rundown houses from all around the area. Not only they remodel houses, they remodel them into their clients' dream houses. The couple usually encounters trouble alongside the way. Like roofing troubles, structural problems and basement problems are only some of the problems. And permit me to inform you, I have handled a leaking roof earlier and it is no smooth task. Everything from unruly contractors to haggling for salvage gadgets threatens to prevent the group from completing the task before the deadline. Up next is Grand Cardon. Grand Cardon with over 1.33 million subscribers is the YouTube channel which has lots of motivation for the ones trying to get into actual property or any form of entrepreneurially targeted enterprise. Grant constructed his fortune together along uh, with his actual property funding firm Cardon Capital that has $1 billion assets under management. He additionally travels the world consulting fortune finance companies, small enterprise owners, startups and governments on enterprise expansion. Our final show on this list is this one, Love It or List It. 
which acts on HDTV. However, it is primarily based in a completely distinctive country which absolutely sets it apart. This one is based out of Canada and it follows fashion dressmaker Hilary Farr and real estate agent David Winstead as they compete to look who can win over their clients. Hilary is usually given a selected price range by a client. She then has to take this price range and redecorate the prevailing home while David will try and counter her service with some of the opportunity alternatives inside their equal price range. The owners will determine which services they prefer the best. However, the actual aptitude uh, from the display comes from the two competing stars, Hilary and David, again and forth, however, in a playful way as they compete for the enterprise of Canadian owners. So, what do you think of these shows? Comment below on your favorite shows and give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one.